Hey guys, and welcome to Weekly Art Inspirations. I have noticed that with this thing, I have had a little bit of a weird um, voice recording, and I think it's because it was below my neck, so it wasn't really getting good um, voice quality. So now I'm just gonna hold it because that seems to work, so that's what we're gonna do. So guys, today on Weekly Art Inspirations, this is the start of a whole series that will be coming out. I was, I submitted a concept to a group down at the Gateway, which is a local mall um, that is down in downtown Salt Lake, and I submitted a concept for their window art, and I had my concept art accepted. So this series is going to be making the art, getting it ready, having it at the, putting it in and installing it at the event, at the uh, window, and then every month they have a art stroll downtown that I will be able to open up the store that I have my art in, um, that is a vacant store, for the most part most of them are, and because of that I will get to sell art and I will get to show different things. So this series is going to be following along, showing the different pieces of getting stuff ready. Behind me I have the canvas that is the main focal point of my design. Um, one second, let me grab. Sorry guys, hold on one second, I gotta find the page it's on. I have, I have a lot of crap in my sketchbook. Let, let's be real, I have a ton of crap in my sketchbook. So this is the design that I created. I'll try and hold it steady there. That is the design and concept I created um, to be able to do the window. And so as you can see here, the unicorn that I will be creating will be made out of wire and then I will put cloth over it and paint it with watercolor. That will be an upcoming video. Today we're going to be working on cutting open this canvas and starting with the wireframe. Um, doing the wireframe will, I don't know how long it'll take, um, but you guys will be able to watch sped up instead of having to watch real time. So get ready, enjoy, get some popcorn. It's, it's not gonna be that long of a video. Um, but get excited because there's gonna be some fun things coming up. Uh, I don't think this will be every week that I post about this, it may, uh, depending on what I want to do, because it will be something that if you want to see it and you live in Utah, you can go check it out. Now, with all of that said, guys, let's get started. Let's head over. I don't know if I'm going to be filming in my bedroom or it, it will probably be on my bedroom. I'll probably do it against this door because I don't know what will be the best uh, for you guys to see the wire because it's a very light color. But let's get started guys, let's head over, let me figure out my setup, and let's just have some fun. Stay inspired folks. If you like the video, like it, and you know, stay awesome. So one of the things that I think is really funny about this is I look really angry um, while I'm working on this, and just understand that a lot of times I'm just really tired. Um, also, if I sound really weird, I'm so sorry guys. For whatever reason, like, over the past weekend, I have just lost my voice. So if I don't sound as, like, crazy happy, I wanna be, but my voice is just not having it. Um, but with that said, I did just use an X-Acto knife to cut through the canvas. I am using floral wire that you can find at any Michaels or Joann's, and I believe any Hobby Lobby. Um, it's a thicker gauge, but it is really great because it's lightweight, so building an armature for the unicorn for my design made it really easy so that it could be lightweight so hanging it up wouldn't be a problem for the window down at Gateway. Uh, but I, I had a lot of fun doing this, and I'm so sorry that some of it gets out of frame. I change where we're placed a little bit later in the video, but I just, I, I don't know, I had so much fun doing this whole process because I've done a smaller scale doing a snow leopard um, and this doing a full unicorn head that's very big and you know just kind of out there it made it very interesting to accomplish it's probably the biggest sculpture I've ever done and I hope that I can do more that are bigger than this you know always challenging yourself and trying new things and always always keep entering and trying to get places because no matter what happens, you know, you're you're gonna get a lot of no's, but you're also gonna get yeses if you keep trying and if you keep going. And with that said, in this I was just doing a lot of wire wrapping. Um, I did use some pliers because at one point uh, I started having my fingers get cut uh, from the wire, which I did not want to have. 
and then coming up right here we're going to change our point of view hey guys so like a middle of the video my dog look over here boo no she doesn't want to that's that's metal let's not eat that so guys sorry this is in the middle of the video i don't know where my mic went because it could you get out of the way sit good girl you're apparently gonna get bella just sitting right in front of the screen Anyways guys, I had to move this. I went and got a cookie and a drink for myself and I needed some more wire. So with that said, we're gonna get back into making this, which is hidden behind Bella. <laughs> and I'll try and keep her out of the frame. But with that said guys, let's get back into it. You crazy, aren't you? You crazy. You are getting one spot right here where I, uh, I tried to do it this way and it was not working so I decided you know what we're gonna change view and I figured I'd keep it in so you guys could see that I do have times where it doesn't work out you'll notice that I take many breaks to drink Dr. Pepper um, I'm also eating a cookie <laughs> from Swig um, that's a local company in Utah but anyways a lot of what I did is I would constantly stand back look at my sketch I had a horse book um, that I would constantly look at for anatomy um, and just, it's not perfect anatomy, but I did kind of play around with the idea of what I wanted the anatomy to look like. I wanted kind of the stylized look of what, what a lot of times I feel like horses and emotion and in motion horse looks like. And I don't know, it was just so fun to do this and to see it really come to life. The wire structure was so incredible incredibly fun to be able to do and I think at the end of this video if I can or in the next video that'll be a quick um, kind of preview look at, at uh, the bonus kind of, of seeing the the place that I'm going to be in I'll, uh, I'll let you guys see the whole wire wrap because I did add an extra layer that I did not get to film because I needed to get it done um, but yeah hey guys so that is where I think I'm going to cap it for today it has been a very, very long process to do this. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a little bit closer. I don't know if I can do a size ratio, but like this thing is half of my body size. Um, there's a better look at the face, the horn, the ears. I have tried to stay as close as I can that the front of it too will come off. You probably won't be able to see this internal structure and I plan on taking some pictures of it so that I can post them at the event so that people can know what went into it. Um, and also letting everyone know that they can find the video on YouTube. Um, but I'm going to be doing some extra wire wrapping to secure this and I'll decide if I want to do a video. If there isn't a video of it, then that's what happened. But if there is, it will be a video using a thinner gauge of wire wherever I put it. Here it is. Oh. It will be this wire, which is very thin, um, but it's a very sturdy wire. I just need to fill some of the gaps here so that when I put cloth over it, it comes off well. Um, that will take probably another three hours. Uh, if, if I'm going fast, it might only take an hour. But with that said, guys, I hope you have enjoyed seeing this. I'm gonna try and get a, there you go. There's a further away view. Ugh, get me out of the shot. There's a further away view of this beautiful, I believe it's going to be a guy. This is going to be a guy unicorn. But there he is. I hope you have had a fantastic time watching this video. I'm going to change arms because my arm is shaking like a fool. And we'll come over to the other side. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Stay inspired. Stay amazing. Remember to try new things. Enter new contests locally. Try and find what you can do to do incredible art, inspire, and just stay incredible. With that said guys, remember to like this video down below if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe if you'd like to subscribe, and if you'd like I will have a link down below to my store. I am opening up a new store, it will have different items in it, and some of the stuff I have done in a few videos will be on there as well. So with that said guys, I'll also probably have a, a discount coming up, so keep watching. Anyways guys, I hope you have had a fantastic time. Remember to always love your unicorn and just remember that like, you know, you're inspired, you're amazing. Don't ever stop believing in magic. So have a fantastic day, guys. There's some more videos over here. Bye, guys.